there everybody this is 22 tiger dude here and i am here to review brigsby bear so brigsby bear is directed by dave mccary who is known for writing some saturday night live episodes the movie is written by kyle mooney and kevin costello and the film stars kyle mooney claire danes greg kinnear mark hamill and many more. Without spoiling too much, this is all I could really say about the film. It's about this young man named James and he creates a children's television show called Brigsby Bear Adventures. Brigsby Bear is a part of his life. But then his show just abruptly gets cancelled and James doesn't want to leave the story unfinished. So James wants to go out of his way to make a Brigsby Bear movie so he could finish the story. Brigsby Bear is a film that came out of nowhere for me. Like two months ago, I had no idea this was a movie, but then like the month before this movie came to my area, I just all of a sudden found out about it. When I watched the teaser trailer for Brigsby Bear, I was conflicted. I didn't really know how to particularly feel about the teaser trailer for the film. Granted, I was maybe a little bit curious, but I wasn't really sure what to think. But then, the second trailer, the second and final trailer of Brigsby Bear release. After watching that trailer, I got hooked. I wanted to see Brigsby Bear as soon as it came to my area. This is also produced by The Lonely Island. Yes, Andy Sandberg and his crew actually produced this film. And a little fun fact, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller produced this film. And I could definitely say, what a film. Like, wow, what a film. Brigsby Bear is one of the most original, most creative films I've seen this year as far as just in recent memory. Wow, this is a breath of fresh air. Brigsby Bear is quite a film. I am so glad I went on my way to see this movie in theaters because this is just one of those indie movies that's meant to be seen on the big screen. What makes Brigsby Bear such a great movie, honestly, was the theme of imagination. I'm a sucker for movies that deal with imagination and how imagination is a good thing. I mean, hell, Captain Underpants, another film that came out this year, explored the theme of imagination, and that's part of why I really enjoyed that movie. And same thing goes towards here with Brigsby Bear. They talk about how great imagination is, how great it is to be a dreamer, and how it doesn't matter how old you are, imagination is a really great thing to do. It's really well executed, and this is a very sweet movie. Brigsby Bear honestly balances so many things. It is funny. It's also very sweet. Like, it's a genuinely sweet movie. It's not sweet in a very forced manner. It is a naturally sweet movie. But when you look deep into it, it's actually quite heartbreaking. It's Difficult to review this film because I have to be very secretive with the plot details that go on in this film. But this film actually has dark themes. Like, there's dark themes in this film, but they handle it not so dark, if that makes sense. Like, there are dark plot details. When you look deep into it, it's actually quite tragic. But because this film goes for a more light, hearted tone it's actually quite impressive that they're able to take a subject that's really dark but it's portrayed in a way where it doesn't feel depressing it's actually handled in a lighthearted way surprisingly and it could feel out of place for some people uh, i could definitely see that for me however where they took with that i was really impressed by that it does have its more dramatic moments but there's never like that one overly dramatic. They never go overly dramatic. They go dramatic when it's necessary and it's dramatic at the right amount. They don't go over the top with the dramatic stuff, in my opinion. It, it feels very natural. And not to mention, like, yeah, 
It's a funny movie. I laughed a lot, honestly, watching the movie. The humor was very spot on. This movie is, is described as a dramedy, and I would honestly agree with that. This is definitely a dramedy film. You have your dramatic moments. Not anything too overly dramatic though but you do have your dramatic moments but then you do have your comedy bits that for the, for the most part really work for me it's a lot of dry humor it may not be humor for everyone but for me a lot of the times i the humor really worked for me and brings me bear now kyle mooney wrote this script for the film along with kevin costello and I have to say, the two of them did such a wonderful job writing this film. There was a lot of passion, a lot of care, a lot of creativity that went into the script. How the film is structured in particular goes in certain directions you don't really expect it to go. And I actually have to really commend them for that. As I said right now, uh, things feel natural about this film and that's thanks to how strong the writing is the writing is really great here really incredible stuff and it's thanks to the writing from Kyle and Kevin being so strong that the comedy worked, the dry sense of humor they have, it really worked here. The dramatic stuff really worked here. Their discussion on imagination, on being creative, on being a dreamer. It was honestly so cool. And me being someone that can be a kid at heart, you know, just because I'm older now doesn't mean I can't like things like SpongeBob, for example. I still love SpongeBob despite the fact I'm a man in my 20s. And I can relate to this James character because despite him being in his 20s, he dreams big. He imagines things. And he loves Brigsby Bear. He loves making episodes for Brigsby Bear. And it's so wonderful to be able to connect with a character like him. Like uh, James is just such a wonderful character. And that is Honestly, thanks to Kyle Mooney. Kyle Mooney is fantastic. Not only writing wise with how genuine the script is, but Kyle Mooney himself as James, man. Wow. You want to talk about a character that is just so lovable? This is that character. And this character, without spoiling anything, he's gone through some stuff. And when you learn about the stuff he's gone through, you feel bad for him. But even with everything he's gone through, this character still sees the brightest things. Like, he is so focused on getting this movie done. And he just imagines big. He thinks big. And it's just wonderful to see a character that still uh, holds on to that positivity, even with the things that he has gone through. Kyle Mooney is seriously fantastic. He gives, honestly, one of my favorite performances of this year. He honestly brought one of my favorite characters of this year. Also, someone that I really loved in this film was Greg Kinnear as this detective. I thought he was so great. He's in the movie for the right amount. I, want, I wouldn't say he's in it a whole lot, but he's in the movie enough for sure. And when Greg Kinnear shows up, I thought he did a really great job with his role. And I don't want to spoil too much about his character, but there, when you learn about his character and what his past was, it was honestly very interesting. Not to mention that there are actually certain comedic bits that Greg Kinnear actually has that I thought were handled so well. I thought James's friends were honestly really great. I honestly really like the fact that they take the time to help James out. And the fact that these people honestly want to help James make this movie is seriously so so sweet you know they could have gone the cliche they're gonna judge james because he has imagination they could have gone in that cliche no the minute james meets uh, up with these friends at this party the minute he tells them about Brigsby Bear and making this movie, they were all down for it. They're like, dude, that's so cool. I want to help you make this movie. Like, they all actually wanted to help him. They didn't judge him. They wanted to help him. 
that was so wonderful to see in this film and it put a smile on my face there is only one character that does judge James though and like I said I have to be very careful because if I say the littlest thing it's gonna spoil the movie all I'm gonna say is this certain character does judge James for a bit but then eventually I'd say by the second half she does warm up to uh, James and his vision for making this movie but besides that one character everyone else is really on board for James to make this movie and any scene that focuses on James and his friends filming the Brigsby Bear movie was wonderful those are hands down the best moments it's like you're getting a behind the scenes look of how they make a movie but except you're watching it and movie form that was so funny and the cinematography too not to mention is so gorgeous I don't know what the budget for this film is I can imagine it being pretty small but man for whatever the budget of this film is the cinematography is absolutely gorgeous seriously every shot in Brigsby Bear is shot so beautifully even with the small budget I'm sure they have it looks so wonderful. The color palette, it's a very colorful looking movie. And then when you do get to the scenes, when you see how the actual movie actually plays out, it was really cool. It was just genuinely so, so nice to see. And as far as everyone else, because I can't really spoil much about the other characters, they were all really great. Mark Hamill was really great. Everyone else that played the supporting characters that you follow, they were really great. Everyone did their job. The performances here were all very natural. And of course, the soundtrack. Like, wow, the soundtrack in this movie. It sounds really great. It fits the movie. It plays at the necessary times. The score is honestly something to praise. Like it's honestly a very catchy score, especially that boom 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 like I I love that. I seriously do love that. And I have to comment that this film is directed by Dave McCary, who's known for Saturday Night Live. He's known for being a writer for Saturday Night Live. He directs this film and he does a really great job of bringing this world to life. This world of this young 25 year old man wanting to make a movie. This is a movie about a guy that wants to make a movie, that wants to finish the story. So that way he not only finishes the story of Brigsby Bear, but he could actually move forward with his life. I feel like people that are really big into filmmaking or want to get started into filmmaking, you really should check out Brigsby Bear because I feel like if you're really into the art of filmmaking, Brigsby Bear is the movie to see. It is seriously so cool to see what these characters do just to make this movie. Now, there are a few flaws I did find with Brigsby Bear personally, but it's not really anything too huge. But as far as criticisms do go the humor doesn't always land it's just like once in a while where I didn't feel like the dry sense of humor that Kyle Mooney and Kevin bring uh, necessarily always come together there are times where it's just a little bit awkward or it just falls a little bit flat but nothing too major I also do think just in a couple of moments I thought the film dragged a little bit it would just really be a couple of times the scene I did find the drag the most and I do think it's my least favorite scene in this film is actually the party scene now I'm not saying cut out the party scene because that scene is how James makes friends and that scene sets up James making a movie so I'm not saying cut that party scene out but of all the scenes in Brigsby Bear I did find myself really not that engaged with that scene it is honestly my least favorite scene when it all comes down to it because I didn't find myself really as engaged Engage compared to the rest of the movie and also they have to kind of shoehorn this thing where James is about to lose virginity with this girl and uh, yeah that's the one thing I do think they could have cut out of that party scene however I don't think that had to really be included in the movie at all it's not discussed a lot thankfully it's discussed 
a couple of times and it's very very brief too but yeah I could have done without that personally but honestly you guys I think Brigsby Bear overall is such a great movie it's very original it's very creative it's such an inventive movie how the movie is structured doesn't play out the way you're used to seeing in movies the performances are really great I should give a shout to Claire Danes because I have not seen Claire Danes in a very very long time so yeah cool to see Claire Danes again in the film everyone was really great in this film the movie is beautifully directed the movie is beautifully written it feels natural the dramatic moments are very well done the comedic bits are very well done the movie is so sweet it's a movie that could have gotten dark considering the subject matter that is in the film film without spoiling anything but they go in this more lighthearted tone which for me actually worked and while I didn't necessarily cry by the time this movie ended I honestly wanted to I was pretty close to to getting watery eye. Brigsby Bear is wonderful and if you are into the art of filmmaking I do truly recommend seeing Brigsby Bear I'm gonna give Brigsby Bear three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Brigsby Bear. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.